I'm making a solar power electric boat. I just got this trailer setter off Marketplace. It's in pretty bad shape. That's probably why it was cheap. It's an 18 foot or 5.5 meter Kestrel. 1970 something, I think. Fiberglass hull. The trailer's the wrong trailer for it as well. So the interior is pretty bad. Stinks of mold in there. I don't even want to go in there in case I get down with the sickness. Uh, there's rot in the front, but it's just through the plywood. really awful inside. I'm starting to regret buying this. Luckily the weather was nice and the water blasting inside was quite nice actually. Okay, it's a lot more pleasant in here now. The awful smell's gone. Put the water draining out. As far as damage goes, this wood, this was plywood with fiberglass over top all in here. And the plywood's all rotten. Same as that piece there. But what I might do is I'll just put a thick piece of ply across the whole lot. I think that'd be all right. This shelf thing, I almost want to take it out. It's pretty rough. I might just take this piece out and um, paint the rest of it, which is still sturdy as. Drawbar's a little bit tired. Alright, I just crawled down inside here and hole sort a massive hole right at the very back. You probably can't see in the center because there's too much. It would get blocking up with all the gunk, so I'll tip it back down and hopefully now it'll all flush out. Day two, let's see what's under here. This shelf was so rotten I'm glad I cut it out. There's probably 500 kilos of water inside when I got it. The actual boat itself weighs about 500 kilos as well. fully stretch out in here just ah. all right the v-birth set up here moving on to the couch and then there's Mia's bedroom down there yeah. not too much room but plenty of room for her <laughs> goes all the way to the back of the boat and I think we'll just use the other side as uh, storage
to day four. I've made a floor, did that last night. Mia's here taping off the window so we can give it a bit of a spray inside. The first coat of paint is on. I might do the next coat with a roller. But I got to link to the tight spaces with the uh, spray gun. Much nicer. I'm a terrible painter. Heaps of runs. The reason why it's hard to pull out is because this is digging into the bottom of the ground, acting like a big break. So I'll try and tip the trailer down a bit and see if that works. Alright, so the trailer came off alright with a bit of help from Mia. This trailer is actually in not too bad a condition. All of the rollers spin. Drawbar was super rusty, but the rest of it is made out of channel. So it is rusty, but it's still got plenty of life left in it. I need to make mud guards, and it's got wooden blocks under the leaf springs to make it higher, so it probably sits too low, so I'm going to have to sort that out also. I had some scrap aluminium checker plate to use for the mud guards, so I just had to weld up the holes. Um, we had a bit of a problem just then, it ripped the mast foot straight off the uh, top of the boat. That's no good, eh? That idea didn't work. Okay, we've got another setup now. I hope I don't pull the loquit tree down, so I'm just pulling straight over the top of the boat now. The reason the mast snapped off is because this broke. It's too small, and that's what pulled the mast off. Whoops. Okay, that's a lot better. It's a lot safer too with two straps. Got the block of wood under there too. So what I need to do is put a piece of wood or something on here as a keel strip because the trailer rollers hit the body otherwise. While it's up here, I might try and get the uh, swing keel working too. Okay, I'm in at work now. I've taken all the rollers off and I'm just going to machine a little flat spot on each of these rollers so it can roll on the fiberglass and not um, destroy it with this edge. I've got to make a bit of a jig first. Move the slide to five degrees so it suits the bottom of the boat.
So I machined all those down. That should be all right. That's enough C for Syria, I think, for the fiberglass. Put those back on. Since the boat's up, I'll see if I can get the swing keel working. It should be falling down now, but it's not. The keel's down as far as it'll go. Looks to be 16 mil plate. Actually, it looks like it started off as 12 mil plate and someone's welded a bigger piece of 16 mil plate on the bottom. That'd be really good. All right, I've pulled the keel back up. We've got some mattresses off Facebook Marketplace. They've got a nice canvas material on them. They're only $30. Another caravan swab here for Mia's bed. Cool. Let's put it back on the trailer. What do you reckon, George? Okay, I've got the rollers back in there. I do need to replace this piece at some stage because it's a massive hole. The whole thing's too thin. But I'll get the boat on first and I need to make the side supports. Guy at work, Brent gave me this. Brand new coupling, thanks Brent. My brother gave me this winch, which is great too. The second stage is broken. He needed it for his bigger boat. Looks like he got halfway through fixing it though. And then he gave it to me, so that's good. Let's see if it'll go on. these bits of wood now take a lot of the weight of the boat she's on there good now I uh, just have to trim the mud guards a bit for the hull to fit winch is on really easy with the winch um, I have to push it quite hard to get it off but I think once we're on the water it'll be easier and the wife's just been to the city and got me a light board for the back here which is just great the cord's gonna reach so I just got to put a plate on here and then it's 100% semi-legal. The boat actually came with these rails. So I've screwed them onto the roof. I sort of was able to use the existing holes, which was great. Cut this piece of ply for the roof. I cut this shape too, so it uh, follows this contour of the roof. Let's attach it and see if it works. We go it's on there it's working kind of but it's a seconds piece of plywood it looks pretty rough i might even remake it i'll do some of the electrical stuff in the next episode thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one